There, by his own admission, Sheetha. Really, sister? And you wonder why your leaves begin to fall out before midsummer? Clearly that man did not want to be followed. Whatever the relationship here, I suspect it is anything but cordial. The answer is yes, old one. We crossed paths with Theos not long ago, and we can tell you where he went. But I find it curious that anyone would seek him out. Suspicious, even. If we are to help you find him, we would know why. So that is the reason he passed this way. This is low, even for the Leaden Key. I told you we should have confronted him, Sheetha. He has always been a poison. It would have been the last thing we ever did, sister. Who can be said to have ever gotten the better of Theos? Yes, but imagine how much fun it would have been. Can't you just picture him all strung up in vines like an angry little puppet? But that's not what this is really about, is it? You are bound to that man. I see it now. You are awakened. Your soul is awake and something once buried deep now wells to the surface. Past overwhelms present, closes in around you. Your time has nearly reached its end. I am sorry to tell you this, but Theos cannot give you what you seek. Nor can any man. An awakening cannot be undone any more than your past can be undone. The soul is formless without a past to shape it. Did you truly expect to be able to wipe it away? You would rather believe in a comforting falsity than accept a hard truth. A common trait among your kind. Endearing in some ways, but it is an obstruction. A lie within a lie. It is only when you face that truth, abandon hope of salvation, and digest its uncompromising absoluteness, that a soul's true nature is laid bare. However, as much as my sister speaks truly that there is no way back from an awakening, there may yet be a way forward. Would you agree, Shiva? I would were the way not so likely to end in death. The man Theos you must already know by now. You are linked by a common past. Something about it lingers within you, festering, unresolved. What it is I cannot see any more than you. And without that knowledge, your doom is certain. But were you to learn the source of this discord, perhaps it could be put to rest. Though it is equally possible it will trouble you as much now as it did then, and merely speed your condition to its end. You might wait for it to come on its own, of course, but when it comes, it will replace your sanity's last breath. Such is the nature of your condition. Or you could learn it from someone who already knows. It is said the gods made his memory perfect, that he may never forget his charge. If he ever knew, he still does. Not that he would tell you, of course. You have followed the right person for the wrong reason, it seems. We see it often beneath the elms, the soul dragging mind and body to unknown places for unfathomable reasons. You may have wandered into Theos's path many times, in many lifetimes, without an awakening to show you why. 
The only thing that's certain is you did not find what you sought. He has gone down beneath the tower to a place older than we, where the people of Engwith once walked. He makes his way to the buried city, Sun and Shadow. May he stay down there and rot with the remains of his people. He may yet. He won't be returning the way he came, that much is certain. He opened a secret path in the tower's base, and saw it destroyed behind him through some vile means. We know of one. On the burial aisle, through the court of the penitents, Brayeth Yaman. A shortcut, in fact. Don't be cruel, sister. The way my sister speaks of is not for the faint of heart. A great pit at the center of a forgotten court, where faiths were judged in place of crimes. To most, it is simply a gateway to death. With the help of the gods, it can take you where you want to go. No more than a ruin now. It is older than we. A place for the trial of heretics. We were not here to witness it. But at one time there was a group that refused to acknowledge the gods. Neither the first nor the last, of course. But these were numerous and all put on trial for it. Those who did not repent were cast into the pit and imprisoned below. The fall killed them, of course. The prison was not for people, but for their souls, and their sentences were eternal. It is said that many of the condemned repented and were permitted by the gods to ascend from the pit, so long as they pledged their service to one of them. But these are old legends. The pit is said to have been a means of judgment by the gods. Those cast into it are meant to die. It is that way you must pass to reach Sun and Shadow. The court is old. We do not know much for certain, but it would seem only the gods themselves can grant passage. Behind us is Ter Evron, said to pierce the shroud itself and a place of communion with all gods. If ever there was a time for prayer, you have found it. Not the only way. Just the only one that doesn't end with your body impaled on jagged rocks. I would pray first to those gods you like best. I hope for your sake the feeling is shared. Ter Evron is also called the Hall of Stars, and the stars show us the allegiances of the gods. When stars are in conjunction, we know the gods they represent are aligned as well. You should choose a place to pray where you'll be closest to those you want to hear you. If a god stands alone, you should pray to that god. If they band together, you should address them all. Choose your words wisely, for all gods expect proper homage, and none has patience for fools. None. What do you wish to know? The same way that you are no doubt able to peer into the ether and experience the souls of others. It is something we are born with, some more, some less. A gift common to many creatures of the wilds. You share certain similarities with the man you pursue. For your sake, I pray they are few and of no consequence. There is something about this place that reaches beyond our understanding, something like a beacon. The elms have a way of uniting souls that have been seeking one another, with or without their owner's awareness. Sometimes it is for love, sometimes for vengeance, sometimes for peace. Often it is for no reason we will ever know. In your case, let us hope it is for peace. Or vengeance. There is little to be said about us, for we are bound here, caretakers and defenders of this place. Our journey has been over time, but not distance, measured in observations, but not experiences. We have seen the elms grow tall, 
We have seen cities built, burned, and built again. The only constant has been the tower, a silent companion through the ages. You can imagine why this recent destruction has stirred my sister so. If you do nothing else, make that man pay for what he did here. We will tell you what we can. Before you go, tell me this, old one. I'm curious. If you were to subdue your enemy, what would you do with him? What would give you peace? What a sad little creature you are. You truly do belong with Theos. Go, and bury yourself with him. All the same, think on this matter. Be assured in your course. In the end, it may mean all the difference, not just to his soul, but to yours. And be warned. Some questions have answers that can never be learned. And it is those that trouble the soul above all others. May you find an answer to yours.
compels my time. What is it? What is it? So much for you. A voice falls silent. Yes? Let's have... Hell's might. I shall.
As you wish. What do you wish to know? Until we meet again.
As your blood flows, so shall your essence. Your life's energy shall feed the soil, and your soul's energy shall enrich the community. This is by your own choosing, Sublicant? No one comes to Blood Sands without a purpose. What is yours? I am the Archdruid of the Ethic Null. For centuries it has been my duty to guide our rituals and guard our knowledge. It is work that requires a certain resilience, but it is not without its benefits. It was a sacrifice and one willingly entered into. The survival of all things depends on balance. Give and take. <laughs> 